what I would like for you guys to start to do is start to use fear as a motivator instead of something that's against you. Instead of, instead of allowing fear to be your enemy, you need to work alongside of fear. Now, this is just the practical way of using fear, so to speak. But if you really wanted to go into how can I <clears throat> start to really get over my fears, so you're going to have to start to see where do they stem from and how can you uproot what's underneath. Because the uprooting is being able to purify that wound. Because every fear points to a wound inside of yourself. So that's just an off piece that I want to tell you guys. If you want to know more about that, I have a product coming out where it will be telling you more about how to be able to sit with the things inside of yourself that you're afraid of. But back to using fear instead of letting fear use you. <clears throat> this is very important. It's so important to start to view fear in a different way. I think one of the things that make fear very scary for people is the fact that it comes with so many sensations that are strongly negative. And anybody who feels pain or negative sensations, the first thing we want to do is avoid. Because we hate feeling that as people. We hate feeling the moments where we can't do something. We hate feeling the moments where it's put in our face that we are afraid. We hate being around others who are more free than us. That same person shows us that we are not free. It shows us that we still have fear. And in a way, we start to resent them in a small way. Like, fuck, man, how come they can do it? How come I wasn't given the ability to be how free they are? You got to start to use fear. Or fear will take over you. Fear will be everything that you're operating from. One of the best things that I've ever heard is only operate out of love and stop operating out of fear. Most people actually walk around operating out of fear. Fear makes them turn like this. Fear makes them talk like this. Fear makes them look like this. Fear is just controlling their every movement. Their every word is just controlling them. Because they're constantly trying to keep at bay the self-image that they've created. This is why fear comes in. Fear comes in because who you think you are is ruling you. Who you think you are, if it's ruling you, fear is ruling you because who you think you are is not who you are. So you're basically upholding something that's not you. And when you're afraid of losing that, it leaves you with you constantly being afraid. Because when you're afraid of losing something, you're always afraid. You're afraid of losing the thing that you've been upholding your whole life. Maybe it's nice guy behaviors. Maybe it's speaking in a particular way. Maybe it's acting in a particular way. You are afraid of letting go of these ways because you know that if you let them go, who you really are comes through. And that's one of the things that scares the shit out of people. What scares the shit out of people is really just using fear. That scares the shit out of people. Really just using it. Allowing it to be at your advantage. One of the things that's at your advantage every moment is to feel something really strongly negative and to do something about it in a positive direction. That's what's at your disposal every single moment. But you're not using that because you feel that that is not a reality. You're like, that's not a truth. 
What I'm feeling right now is, fuck, I don't want to go do this thing. I don't want to go talk to this girl. I don't want to be around these people. I don't want to try to go for this kiss because if I try these things, I'm going to feel something strong. I'm going to feel negative on the inside. I'm going to feel like, fuck, I'm being a creep. I'm going to feel like, man, I'm being weird. I'm going to feel like the girl doesn't want it. And that's a real feeling. I feel it, man. I feel it. Like, yeah, I know you feel it. Every, all of us have felt it. But why is it that I'm able to go up to a girl and you're not? Why is it that I'm able to go for a kiss on a girl and you're not? Why is it that I'm able to be in front of people and be settled and not try to do things to try to please them and you're not? It's because in the very practical way starting out, I learned how to let fear be my friend. I learned how to let fear just be right alongside of me and be my ally and we just <clears throat> do this thing together. Because the moment I started to understand that fear is something that's just created in the mind, I started to take the route to how can I start to unravel this? How can I start to unwind the things in my mind? Because yeah, I can let it you know, work alongside of me but the unraveling of it makes it less. When I started to understand that I could use fear is when I committed to growth. And as you guys know in my earlier videos, I've told you many times that if you're committed to growth, you're committed also to fear. If you are committed to being a man that's constantly evolving, you need to develop a great relationship to fear. Your relationship to fear needs to be a marriage. You need to fucking get mad at it. You need to fucking love it. You need to fucking make love to it. You need to really develop a relationship to fear, a marriage. Because being free to the same capacity you need to be free is the same capacity you need to be able to allow fear into your life. You can't truly be free in the way you want to without allowing fear to be a part of your life. It must become a part of your life and an ally for you. It must be something you can work with, not against, because the moment you're working against it, you're basically telling yourself that I don't want to be free. And most people are conditioned into this. They're like, you know what? I want to be free, but at the same time, I don't want fear. You know what? If fear comes into my life, that means that I'm just going to just deal with it in the way that, you know, it comes in, you know, as far as avoiding it. That's how I'm going to deal with it. And I'm going to try to see, okay, how can I be free? And I'm thinking to, the, to myself, you can't have one without, without the other. There's no fucking way. A marriage is man and woman. You cannot have one without the other to make up what it is. So to speak, marriage or relationship, you need to have this fear and this freedom come together as one because when they come together as one what's always going to be more powerful is freedom freedom will always be more powerful it is your fears are fake they're illusions they're of the mind freedom is your nature freedom is who you are freedom is something that you can settle into any moment because guess what freedom is awareness so the, I guess if you want to say this in another way, you must allow fear in your life and awareness. But how can you allow awareness? Meditation, things like that. You know, we'll get into that. But these two must come together. They must collage together, collide, mesh, make love, and be here with each other. The things that scare you the most are the exact things that want to make you free. Whatever you're most afraid of in life, whatever you're most afraid of, like really, not like, yeah, even spiders. I was going to say not like spiders, but even these things, these things, like if you want to be free, you got to understand that that's one thing that I got to allow in my life. And of course, the exercise I'm going to give you is going to be something incredible for you to be able to allow yourself to work with fear and not against it. But you need to allow your life to be <clears throat> a book of free, 
fear. So for a while, you can even say, I'm freely fearful. Yeah, these two work together. It's so crazy that they're complete opposites, but they work together so well. And once they come together, it just becomes freedom. That is the counterintuitive thing to this, is that the moment that you allow yourself to go, okay, I'm afraid of this. But you know what? The only way for me to be free is for me to allow myself to be afraid of that, but at the same time work with it. So now let's think about, okay, the working with it part. Because I've been talking about the relationship, but let's get into the working with it. Working with it is just, when it shows up, giving it a different meaning. That's working with fear. A lot of times when it shows up, people give it the meaning like, oh my God, this is so scary. I don't want to feel this. Uh, I just, I just want to get out. They give it all this meaning that is scary, that is, that is bad for me to feel, that it means that I'm a weak person, that it means that I'm a bad person. They give it all these meanings to make themselves against it. Do you, do you understand that your meaning that you have will be with it or against it? That is the difference. It's just the meaning you put on it. When you're going to approach a girl, the meaning that you put on it, if it's, this is scary, I don't want to do this, she's not going to like me, if it's any of those, forget about being free. Forget about it. But if it's, fuck, I feel all these sensations, but I know that I still want to go talk to this girl. Yeah, I'm going to allow it to be there, but I'm still going to go talk to this girl. Be in control of those sensations. Right now, I'm so scared to go for this kiss. Maybe it's going to be weird. Maybe it's the wrong timing. You know, for me, I used to be like, maybe the girl is not ready for it. Maybe she, you know, if I go for it, she's going to give me the same feeling that I, that I felt when I was younger, when I tried some sexual with a girl and she gave me a harsh reaction and she became weird to me over school. I used to feel that same way, man. I'm not any fucking different than you guys in many different ways. I'm not any fucking different. I'm the same as you. I just have learned to work with it in those moments. So in the moments, let's think about the kiss. In the moments of the kiss, I used to just go, if I do not kiss this girl at the time that I want to kiss her, then I'm leading this woman on. I'm trying to wait for the perfect moment to kiss this girl so I can avoid fear. But every single time I would do that, you know, I, I hated doing that, you know. Now I'm just like, okay, I'm going to do it whenever I feel it. At the times, I used to hate, man. I used to hate that. I'm like, fuck, I just want to fucking do it. So I went, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kiss her when I want to kiss her. And even if she fucking gives me a harsh reaction or whatever it may be, that'll be fine. And I just started doing it. And my heart was racing really strong. I remember one time, I remember being in, I remember being in front of a girl in the bedroom. It's the first day that I brought her home. And as I'm in front of her, she's just looking at me and I'm looking at her. And then I lean in for the kiss and my heart's pounding because this is the moment where I was like, fuck, I'm just going to do it. My heart's pounding like super fucking hard. And we're in a very heated moment. And then she turns her head like this. And then I come out of the moment and I just stay there with her because I stay in the intensity of what I'm afraid of. I'm, af I'm afraid of some reaction coming from her and how that's going to make me feel. I'm not even afraid of how she's going to react. I'm afraid of the rea how I will react to how she's going to react. That's what I'm afraid of. And so I just stayed in that for a moment. And guess what? At the end, towards the end of the day, I tried again and that same sensation came up. Because I knew she did it, you know, she didn't want the kiss before. So I tried again later and she still didn't want the kiss. But I still went for it again at the time I wanted to. I allowed myself to work with it. Because I got so fucking frustrated with letting fear just be in control of me. I was like, fuck this. I'm not going to let it be in control of me. I'm going to go for the kiss when I want to. And that's what you need to do. Get fucking angry. Get, get fucking upset and, 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 and fed up with you not being able to do the things you want to do because of fear. You're working against it constantly. Allow yourself to work with it. Start to move with it. 
Yeah, you feel things inside of your heart's racing. Things are happening inside of you. Yes, it is. But I need for you to work with it. I need for you to give it a different meaning. You know what? I am so afraid to go talk to women. But, fuck, if I don't do this, I'll never have a woman in my life that I want. Coming back to the kiss, let's say that you're going for the kiss. And you're like, fuck, I'm so afraid. Yes, you're afraid. But get angry at it. Get, allow yourself to really work with it. But the getting angry at it is saying, I'm going to allow myself to do it even when the fear is there. Get angry at yourself. Not angry at that. Be angry at yourself for not doing it. And just go, okay. On the inside, check in with yourself. Don't be afraid to ever check in with yourself when you're with the girl. You can even look straight. Let's say you're on a date. You're sitting there and you can just look straight and go, Play on the inside. I'm going to go for the kiss right now. And if I lose her, so be it. I'll just learn this. I need to learn this process of going for what I want. And then when you feel it, just go for it. Slowly go in for it. Feel the intensity of it. And just stay with the intensity of it. Stay with it. It will be scary to you. But that's fine, man. Stay with it. And let's say that she says no. Cool. Or she says yes. She reciprocates. Cool. You just allow yourself to work with it. Give it a different meaning in the moment. Right now in the moment, this means shit to me. Although it's there, it means shit. That's when you're getting angry at yourself because you're like, fuck, I want to do this. My desire is more important than my fear. That's, what the, that's working with it. My desire is more important than my fear. You're giving it a different meaning. The meaning is in that moment that I am leaning on my desire. I am trusting my desire more than my fear. What are you trusting more? Give yourself the chance to trust it. Trust your desire. Stop questioning it. Always trust that that is the most natural thing and is leading to you to what you want. This meaning thing, putting a different meaning on things, is how you start to perceive things in a different way. I perceive going to talk to a woman very differently than when I started out. When I started out hitting the streets, the way that I would go up to a woman is that I would be like, fuck, that's a woman there. <sighs> okay. All right, let's see. Okay. <sighs> then I would go. Now I'm like, fuck, she looks great. My God. I look at her up and down. And if she looks at me, if she catches me looking at her, so be it. I don't care. But I trust my desire more than I trust my fear. My fear actually not, is not even there anymore because it's shifted. Because I told you the real uprooting of fear is being able to find out the causes of it and being able to turn it into love, so to speak. It's the uprooting. Where you are right now, if you continue, you will start to understand what I'm talking about. But where you are right now, if you're really, really in a place of constriction, it will, very, it will be very hard for you to realize what I'm talking about until you go do it over and over and over. This is not going to happen on the first three times you go talk to the girl. Even the first hundred times is not going to happen. Now, you can get yourself used to working with fear over those hundred times, but to, for it to really dilute, it's going to be more than just talking to the woman. It's going to be more than that. Is going to require the real internal journey of why am I really afraid of this woman? It's going to require more than you just being somebody that's like, okay, uh, if I keep talking to all these girls, then my fears will be solved. No, sorry. Because if you're afraid of getting close to a woman with your heart, you will always be afraid in some way when you walk up to a woman. In some way. You will always have fear. You will never be fully present. You will never be able to work with fear. So what is the exercise that I want you guys to start to do for this next week? For this whole next week, I just want you guys to go out. And I want you to meet women. I want you to start to tune in to which moment just sensations arise in me the strongest. Well, I feel fear. Which moments do I actually feel it the strongest? 
And then the moments where you feel it the strongest, I want you to take note of this moment because this is the moment that's going to be the avenue to your freedom, to you becoming more free on the inside. Whether it's the approach, whether it's going into transition and into conversation, whether it is moving the seduction forward, whatever it is between, between these three areas, I want you to see where does fear pop up the most for me? Is, is it when the woman doesn't give me a good reaction when I go up and talk to her? Is it when, when, I'm, when I'm trying to transition into conversation, me believing that I have to constantly talk and not shut up? I'm afraid of shutting up. Is it when it's time to go for the number and I'm just afraid to go for it because maybe she'll think that I'm going to annoy her or I'm creepy? Whatever with, between these three areas it is, I want you to just check it off and go, that is the moment right there. And now I want you to give it a different meaning. Let's say it's when a girl gives me a harsh reaction, I want to I want to leave. Let's give it a different meaning. When a girl gives me a harsh reaction, that's just mean that my desire is coming through strongly. So if she gives me a harsh reaction, that's on her, that's not on me. As long as I did what I needed to do. When she gives me a harsh reaction, I'm just going to see it as love and happiness. Because I know that that's what's behind it anyway. Maybe that's just her belief coming at the surface and her having to deal with it while she's in relation to you. In relation to me. If you're talking about it in a me, in a me point. In relation to me. You give it a different meaning. Transitioning into conversation. Fuck, I'm afraid. Well, I might run out of things to say. I don't know how to start this conversation. Let's give it a different meaning. Right now, I just want to be silent because I want to see what is it like to just be here with this woman without trying to be in a rush. Give that part a different meaning. You know, right now, if I can't, if when I'm trying to go into transition into conversation, I'm just going to just smile and look at her because that makes me feel good in the moment because it lets me know that I'm enjoying this. Another good meaning for this. I want to have a conversation with you and Space is a good thing because it gives me the chance to ask you a question that I really want to ask you or be spontaneous in a way that I really want to be. You're giving it a different meaning, moving the seduction forward. Oh my God, I shouldn't go for the number. No, let's do it in a different way. Going for the number is the only way that I can see this woman again. Going for the instant date is the best way for me and her to get to know each other right now. I know that if I want this woman to come into my life in some way, I need to take the actions to do that. Right now, I feel these sensations and I know that eventually they will dilute because people have done it before me. So I'm just going to Go for the number. Even if she doesn't give it to me, that's totally fine as long as I did what I need to do to move the seduction forward. You need to give it a different meaning. Give it a different meaning. And as you give it a different meaning, what would happen is the way you feel towards that will start to change. Your perception of that will start to change. The meaning that you give it has a direct effect on how you feel. As men, one of the things that we want to do is that we don't want to piss women off. We don't want to go in there and be perceived as something that we're not trying to be. But we cannot control that. We can only control our own desire. And being okay with our desires is the place that we want to get to as men. And if we get to that place as men, oh my God, man. That makes it great.
So I want you guys to go out and I want you to do these exercises. Give it a different meaning. Work with fear. The moment you work with it, you can give it a different meaning. The situation. Right now my heart could be racing while I'm looking at a girl, but if I give it a different meaning, the heart racing thing, it'll start to fade away. And if you're probably wondering why I have these goggles on my head, it's because I'm gonna go skiing right now. Make sure you guys click in the description box or you click the link, uh, you click the link after I end the video and my end screen so you can get my free Meet to, Meet to Bed series. It's my video series that's absolutely free for you guys and I've packed in about, I think it's about two hours, two to three hours of just teaching you guys approach to the bedroom and how you can do that. It's absolutely free for you. I'm going to give you guys everything that I'm going to give you. Thank you for tuning in to Essence of Solo, Tony Solo. And I got to get out of here because I'm ready to go skiing. Take my exercise, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new. And it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon an approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say, and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home, and along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.